Okay, y'all. Let's see what comes out in the cards today. This is the Wisdom Oracle deck. Patience, perseverance, and trickery, and impasse. On the bottom of the deck, release. Okay, let's see what these cards are talking about. And I hope you can hear me. Let's see. Chakra Wisdom Oracle Cards. All right. So we'll start with the um, Impatience. And I want to say the last time I used these cards, Impatience may have come out. Um, and it is blue. So blue, the blue cards have to deal with Communication, which is basically associated with the throat chakra. Um, impatience is the electric blue moon. Right? You see the electric blue moon? You desire to create... Your desire to create may overpower the necessity of aligning with divine timing. The time to shine will come. Move with the energy and not in front of it. Being present has its own reward. Okay. Next card is orange. And um, orange is associated with the solar plexus. Um, which is also associated with your emotions. So pers perseverance refers to movement and true feelings. Focus on that which supports you. You may have a heightened emotional state and this card can inspire or discourage. You are being offered a way of getting something back on track. Okay. Um, I'm going to read the meditation for this one. It says, imagine yourself walking along a path wrapped in a cloak. You reach a glass wall. Through the glass, you can see your goals. Step forward and pass through the wall. Your cloak falls to the ground, staying with your past. Let it go. You do not need it anymore. Okay. Okay. Then we have trickery, and green is associated with the heart chakra, right? Let's see. Um, and so green is associated with love. And the trickery card says, Kelly the Green Dragon. Notice here that there may be manipulation because of a fear of being rejected. There is no evil intent, only a deep desire to be loved. This card may also indicate that you should practice asking for your true heart's desire 
rather than fearing someone else's resentment. Okay, and then we have impasse, which again is associated with the um, solar plexus chakra, which is all about emotion. Okay, impasse, Reggie Russ, this is his name. Good old Reginald. What's done is done. This card can indicate the end of a great emotional upset. Upset. The power to change direction for the better is supported in rust. Your angels appear to protect you in the long run. This is a detour, not a no. But in the here and now, things will change. Go where you are led for now. Okay? Let's do some life purpose. Creative expression. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. You're free to do what you choose. Experimentalists. Oh, sorry. Environmentalists. <laughs> Yo. Environmentalists. I'm not sure where I got experimentalists from, but it's all good. Um, you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. All right and counseling you heal with kind words wise advice and an empathetic ear okay at the bottom books okay let's see what the tarot says when i split the deck we have the emperor and the three of wands. I'm not gonna look again. I'm just gonna shut it. Get out of your head, get out of your emotions. All right, what does the collective need to know? What is the general overall message for today? Too many. Two of Pentacles, what are you juggling? What are you trying to decide? What are you trying to balance? Your ships are coming in, so you won't have to do this balancing act too much longer. Ten of Wands. Yep, all you got to do is drop. Drop that load, and things will start to get better. You need to release. Get your freedom. Express yourself creatively. Um, six of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. I feel like somebody may have made you an offer with some strings attached to it, or they're at least trying to. And this person may be very selfish, um, taking you for granted or taking your help for granted. 
and they're ungrateful. This could be your child or another relative or anybody that maybe you're dating or something like that because you're a Ten of Pentacles. Then we have the world come out in reverse. Um, not sure if you need closure on this relationship or you're just not satisfied with it. Um, and it's not over, but you're anxious to start something new. Maybe that's why you need closure. Or maybe you just need to set clear boundaries and say what you need to say. Nine of Swords, yep, you or someone around you, all in your head, feeling anxious, not able to sleep. Just thinking about your problem instead of thinking about what you're grateful for, which will free your mind, right? Um, stop blaming yourself for something that happened and get you some rest. The Emperor did come out, but he came out in reverse. So whatever this is, is a weak foundation and the answer is no, <laughs> right? Um, somebody's not flexible, they're questioning your authority or your knowledge. Um, could be a government, but could be somebody that you just know personally who's trying to undermine you because they know you're a ten of pentacles and they're just taking you for granted. And may have, maybe they've been doing this for a while. They could have been doing this for years. That's too many cards. Yep, King of Swords. Um, but you have a strong mind. And you're you're seeking out the truth. And this is why you're in your head. Because you're like, why would this person do this? Or why would this person say that? But really, you know the answer. is because, don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? This person is no good. <laughs> Um, and they may be a good person in some ways, but if somebody is using you or taking you for granted for your money or a place to stay or whatever it is, that's not good. And again, this could be a relative. This could be your child, right? Um, and although, yes, we want to help our children and, you know, continue to nurture them, even if they are, you know, of what the government says, adult age, um, you know, sometimes they do still need our, our help and we don't want to just put them out. But at the same time, we have to set boundaries so that they don't take advantage of us either. I just realized everything is upside down. Well, not really. <laughs> I should have put the camera in front of me. Let's see. Is that better? All right. But yeah, you're smart. Um, take your own advice. You give good advice to people, but right now you're not taking your own advice. Um, be a smart leader. Again, learn to set boundaries. Be clear about, you know, say what you mean and mean what you say. Uh, temperance is out here in reverse. You need to balance out your energy. Right? You know, you're out of balance. You need to center yourself. Practice mindfulness. Practice meditation. Go for a nature walk. Um, walk barefoot. Um, things of that nature. Because you're out of balance right now. So you need to clear your mind. Stop being in that nine of swords energy. Get out of there. Yep, magician did want to come out, but he came out in reverse. Somebody, so there's there's some manipulation and some trickery here. And didn't trickery trickery did come out in the the um, um, wisdom oracle deck, right? So this magician is confirming that there's some manipulation and some trickery. It's confirming that six of pentacles in the reverse too. Somebody abusing their power. This could be an old boss, or somebody who feels like they have power over you, a landlord, um, mortgage company, bank. Any type of situation, your financial advisor. But there's definitely some trickery. Hanged men. Look at look at it from a different perspective. 
Again, you don't have to get mad, but you can learn how to set boundaries and say what you need to say without yelling or cursing at the person. Just be clear and direct and blunt like a king of swords would be. Right? Let it go, though, so you can get some sleep and get out of that nine of swords energy. Right? You know, just take a step back. You know what to do. You know when you take a step back and really think about what's going on. You know the truth will come to you. You just want to, you know, not believe that it, you, this person would be this way. But that person is that way. <laughs> um, yep, that person is a knight of swords in the reverse. They may be talking reckless to you being too disrespectful, aggressive, think you're supposed to kiss they behind or act like they entitled and you owe them something. Nah, go ahead and want to sit down somewhere. Even if you weren't in your child's life or you felt like maybe you weren't the best parent and you learned some stuff in the meantime, in between time, you don't have to put up with that. Like I said, it needs to end. Put a death to it. Um, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, I, that one already came out. Sorry, the Hierophant. Um, you know, make this person follow the rules. You follow the rules. And if they can't follow the rules, it needs to come to an end. Especially if this is your child. You know, you feel like you want to be a traditional parent. Again, help your kid and, you know do the right thing but sometimes you have to do what's right for you so you can get some sleep and move and live your life the way that you're supposed to you got you have nine and ten pentacles or this is the energy of someone who's coming towards you it's like maybe once you let this energy go if it's a relationship once you let that person go a nine of pentacles will come to you <clears throat> if it's not a relationship and it's your child it may still be someone of the opposite sex who wants to come towards you but they see how your child is or they see that your child lives with you and then maybe it's not the most ideal situation maybe they feel like you allow this child to get away with too much or whatever that looks like for them and they just keep their distance but maybe once you you know get all of that situated again you don't have to you know you just have to set boundaries and clear rules and you know I understand a lot of that and a lot of times nowadays people want to be their kids friend but maybe you need to be their friend in a different way but make sure you still put your foot down and let your kid know you have to follow some rules if it's a relationship it just needs to come to an end it's dead it's dead that relationship is over and if you don't end it it's going to be ended for you because you know it's time to end one thing and start something new. Nothing lasts, you know, forever. Everything has to come to an end at some point. And sometimes it comes in to an end because it didn't work out. Sometimes it comes to an end because the person transitioned or whatever it looks like. But it can't stay the same. So, again, even if you still are in the same state living situation, the arrangements of that situation need to change. And that person needs to conform to your rules and, you know, be a more traditional parent, old-fashioned parent. So what if the kid gets mad? You need to set those boundaries so you can get some sleep at night. All right, y'all. I'm going to end the reading there. Love y'all. Hope that was helpful. Later.